Hi there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Shorty on the Fly. I've been meeting a lot of folks out on the water lately who have watched the channel and they say the only problem is they want more videos. So I'm going to try to accommodate that with uh, the things that have been catching for me. So today I'm going to introduce you to the Opal X Caddis. Uh, this is actually the fly that was on the end of my line uh, in the intro when we uh, caught that fish. Uh, so that we had that to show everybody. So this is a relatively simple fly to tie, um, but it's it's one of my go-to patterns. Um, so let's get started and see what we got here. So first of all, I'm going to be using a size 14 dry fly hook. Uh, you can tie it down to a 16 if you want. That works pretty well. And for my thread, I'm using my trusty old Olive 60 Danville. We're going to go ahead and get the thread started on the hook leaving about an eye width space behind. Get it in the usual fashion. I'm gonna run the thread just about to the rear of the hook and then back up again so we have a good base on which to put all the material. So, and I'm gonna take open spiral wraps to get back to the front. And at this point, we're going to tie in a trailing shuck. And for this, I'm using um, olive, Zilon, uh, just take the hank right take a piece right off the hank. You don't have to uh, mess with it or make it small or whatever. It's a good size, just like this. Go ahead and catch that and start running the thread back. And the reason that I tie it up in the front instead of at the back is I want this nice smooth body on which to wrap my abdomen. So we're going to run that back to just about the bend of the hook, and then come in and trim it off. Uh, about three quarters of the length of the shank of the hook and there we are now at this point I'm going to run the thread back up to the front of the hook again because again I'm looking for a small or not a small a smooth uh, base on which to wrap my material and my body on this is going to be medium Mirage opal tinsel and nothing else so I'm going to go ahead and tie that in as well and again, run it all the way to the back. And then back up front, almost to the eye, but we want to leave a space to put our wing. Then just start, start wrapping, slightly overlapping wraps with the tinsel. And uh, should be good to go. If you want, sometimes I'll put a little dab of super glue underneath just to give it a little bit more durability, but it usually will hang together pretty well for you. We get back up to that point and capture it. And now we're going to be using a deer hair wing. And the age old question is, how do we get that on there and keep it from spinning around the hook? Well, I picked up a little tip from my buddy Tim Flagler over there at Tight Lines. I'm sure some of you have watched his stuff as well. I'm using just a little wisp of dubbing. I've got some uh, olive super fine here. And I'm going to put that on the thread, and that's going to help to hold things in place a little bit better. It's still going to want to do that jump and skip around to the far side of the hook, but uh, this will help quite a bit with that. Now, I'm using uh, Comparadon deer hair for my wing, and I've already dropped it in the stacker to save a little time. And... Uh, I'm gonna take it out of the stacker and come in and measure that to be about the length of the shank of the hook, maybe overlapping slightly. And then I'm gonna come in and grab it with my other hand. And now, I guess I'll do this for you right here uh, and make a mess on my desk. Just go ahead and come in and trim that off and then put it right back to where you want to tie in and this can be a little tricky so here's what we're going to do we're going to come up and get one wrap around the clump another one and a third one now we want to pull straight up with our thread up because what that does is compresses the thread over the top of the clump without trying to pull it toward the back side of the hook now we'll take a couple more wraps here and then to anchor it, I'm going to come around, 
and take it around the eye of the hook. And if I did this right, I can let go and everything will be in place just like that. Okay? Now, come on in and whip finish right in front, right on the bare hook. And there you have it. That is our Opal X Caddis. And show you what that looks like on the underside. You can see you've got that little shimmer from the uh, Opal Tinsel going on there. I don't know why the fish like that, but they do. So there you go. Tie them up in 14s, uh, 16s. Um, you can alter the uh, trailing shuck if you want but I think that olive works well especially when the granums are on the water so uh, away we go so I hope that's helpful I hope you put some of them in your box and I hope you're successful with them uh, if you enjoyed the video please give us a like or a comment we always love hearing from you and until we meet again I bid you peace